Show Podcast, Season 2, Episode 45. Round of applause, please. Oh, yes. Oh, let's go. It's just never on time. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast. I know y'all feel that. Oh, my. Oh, it broke. Oh, we broke. That's another clapper down. It's okay. The box comes with like 100. Guys, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast. I know you feel the electricity in the air. We are so excited to be back. But you know the rules. If you're watching this is your first time here or you haven't already, if you look below, you say subscribe button isn't pressed, you're wrong. If you look even more below, then you say come and say feel with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Get your good karma. You know, a lot of people this week or last week, might I say, last week, they got so much good karma. You know why? Because they joined the Koala Club. They joined the Patreon. Round of applause for a successful first week of Patreon. What are y'all doing back there, huh? <laughs> we had a great first week of Patreon. So many of y'all joined the Koala Club. Y'all got the 14-hour road trip vlog. And, oh, the, the feedback that we got from it. Y'all enjoyed it so much. We had so much fun making it. And guess what? This week, right now, on Patreon, right now, you get an extended podcast episode. You get to see... Our lovely friend Ashlyn sat on that couch right there and quiz me and co-host Cam on feminine products. And boy, it is embarrassing. And also, we're not just going to leave you at that. It's week two of Patreon. So, you know, I think we're going to give you two pieces of content. You get Fletcher's Redemption. And if you don't know, you should know. If you watch the podcast, you remember that story of me and Cam going to the state fair. Guy barehand in the glizzies. Well, we went back. And you get a vlog of that. And so that's a, you get great content over there on the Patreon. Thank you to everybody that has joined and is going to continue to join. We are going to keep producing, keep uh, elevating the content that you get over there on the Patreon. Shout out to the Discord. And thank you to everybody on YouTube. We just hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. Round of applause for 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. We're going to keep growing. Our next milestone goal is 100,000 subscribers. So tell your friends, get everybody to join the You Should Know podcast. This is the best family on YouTube all around. Get everybody to join. We're going to get 100,000 subscribers, and we can only do that because of y'all, and we want to thank you so much. We got co-host Cam in the building. We have a great episode prepared for y'all. This episode is, of course, brought to you by the one and only Manscaped, who just dropped the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, 20% off in free worldwide shipping using code PSH at checkout. Now. Let's get on with the rest of the podcast. Breaking news. Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right. They're once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. From a beard trim to a fresh shave, the technology behind the Beard Hedger Pro Kit allows you to shape your signature beard look. Now, you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using code PSH for 20% off and free shipping. It's time to tame your mane. No one likes a weird beard. His beard is weird. His beard is weird. So say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Beard Pro Kit. Guys, it all starts with the Beard Hedger. This cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting links with one guard. This is a revolutionary product you can only get at Manscaped. So get 20% off and free shipping with code PSH at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com and use code PSH. Manscaped Beard Hedger. One stroke, one guard, 20 links. Thank you to Manscaped. Thank you to everybody that uses Manscaped. Now back to the rest of the podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. We got Coles Kim back in the studio. Ah, that's how you swing in your dreams. You're like, yeah, I hate that. Oh, it's the I worst. hate when I feel like I'm running in mud. Oh, sleep paralysis though. Have you ever gotten that? Once. Really? Once. What, what did it say to you? I was screaming, screaming Olivia's <laughs> name. Nothing was coming out. I was trying to get her to wake me up. I was like, Olivia. And I was just like this. I was, it's bro. It's like my arm was like a million pounds. I was wow. trying to just touch her, and I was just like. <laughs> it's not it was, like that it noise. Kind of like a dolphin getting. Anyway, um, how are you doing? This isn't Patreon. <laughs> don't touch my foot. I'll do what I want. I have a weird thing with my feet. Yeah, we know. They're I don't like black, being... brown, yellow, sweaty, and I tried it on. Damn it! <laughs> no, my socks are good today. They're good. You're lucky. They're gray. You're lucky. I've worn. Gray. I've worn these for a week now too. No, you're good. You're lucky. You're just. A, we'll use a lucky man. Use a lucky man. <laughs> 
Ouais, ouais, là, tu sais, oui. la raya. What? He's a lucky man. Oh, I know, I know you. How you doing, Cole's Cam? How you feeling? This world is primal. Don't go, any further. Don't go any further. Don't go any further. We're going to get copywritten. YouTube's cracking down that first, like, whatever. <laughs> Patreon, you can see all you want. How are you feeling? <laughs> Audience attention just went like that. I'm, do I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's a, uh, as you can hear, little allergies, just a little bit of the allergenics are going around still in this great state don't know what i just did what'd you do before you got here uh woke up what passing traffic passing traffic huh these are bright they're very bright they're quite bright it's a bright uh version Nike tech sweats but yeah they're bright no cam was what'd you do beige man huh go and lift your arms for us oh we don't like, oh, instantly insecure, huh? <laughs> dude, my hair looks bad, dude. Your hair looks good. Dude, it's like... There's like one curl at the top that's just kind of out of place, and that's it. Let well, me fix it. Come on. Liv's, Liv's trained me. It's like right here. Ow. Oh, I felt your spot. Oh. oh my. I felt his spot. I felt his spot. Dude, I look nice. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Though we're back, episode forty-five. His hair's fine. He's just a little self-conscious, but yeah, another great week. Hope everybody's doing good. What about you? Are you are you included in everybody doing good? Was your week good? It was all right. Okay, I just worked a lot. But you know what made it better? What? I went to our PO box. Mm -hmm. The Ooh. PO box is linked in the description, and I want to take time to say thank you to everybody that sends stuff in the PO box, and let's run through it we really are. fast. Let's do it. We. We got to say another Squishmallow add to the farm. This is from Brooke. Uh, she said, love the podcast. Enjoy the squirrel. The tail makes me real uncomfortable. The tail, the tail's a little different, not going to lie, but he's adorable. Tag still on him. He's still official. Stock X verified. And uh, he is, of course, as soft as can be. So thank you again, Brooke. Next. And we also got this, uh, this lovely, <laughs> these two shirts from An oh, so, Angela so and... and Jarena? So funny. How do you say that last? I want to make sure I say you that right. You did skip English class? Let's see. I did a couple times. Um, that, yeah. Jarena. Uh, Angela, no, no, Angela Jarena. Not Angela. And Jarena. Just Angela it's Jarena. Just, it's just one. Her name's Angela Jarena. Did I just make up the and? Yeah. There's literally not the word and here. Like, if I could show you all this, there's, it just goes Angela Jarena. So, I don't know <laughs> what he's... I don't know what he's... It's it's all right. But she sent these shirts, right? And one of them's for co-host Cam. Here, and, give, me, give me mine. And one's for me. That one's for you. I'll go first. Then you go yours. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I just had a joint hip replacement. <laughs> Shout out, Angela. She knows the hips are very compromised. There we go. There's mine. Thank you, Angela. That is hilarious. And we got a little skeleton dabbing. And she's dabbing? Dab. You said dapping. I said it. You don't read. Dab. I don't always roll a joint. You're showing me. You need to show me. Oh. <laughs> You're showing me. I, I don't always roll a joint, but when I do... It's, it's my, my ankle. ankle. <laughs> Y'all know I got clickety clack in the ankle. Clickety clacky. Angela, that is hilarious. We will be, uh, they're not technically twinning, but we'll be rocking them together. I don't know if this is from Angela or who this card is exactly from, but shout out to you for this card. It is very mean. <laughs> um, it says, you are my favorite disgrace. Thank you. And the inside of it reads, Unbelievable. Peyton, you suck in the best way possible. Cam, keep that boy in check and get him some damn socks and anti anxiety. Oh, oh, no, no, you can't read an insult and stutter. That's just giving him firepower. It's some anti-anxiety. Oh, I here. Come on. Thank come on. You. Okay. We'll start this over. Here we go. You are my favorite disgrace. Peyton, comma, you suck in the best way possible. Cam, comma, keep that boy in check and get him some damn socks and anti-anxiety medication. Much love. No name. Very rude, but in a good way. We I'll love you that. still. Thank you so much. Um, also, and last but not least, we got uh, sent a bunch of merch from a company called ATFL. Shout out to ATFL. This is really cool garments. We're going to wear these a lot. We got one for each of us. We got a hoodie with some X's and a smiley face. I like this a lot. Embroidered, nice, nice, nice material. Very Shout good. out to nice you. Nice thick of the, on the sleeve right here. says love kills. And then, and then um, another shirt. With the smiley faces and X's. And the back says love kills. So thank you to ATFL. Go check them out and check out everybody. Thank you to everybody that sends us stuff. We want to take the time to say thank you. Remember, when you go through your first heartbreak, it's going to suck, but you're going to make it through. 
Just it's, are you all right? Love kills. I don't know if their if that's their mission, if that's their mission statement or not. But I just went with it and ran with it. But thank you, uh, ATFL. Thank you to everybody that sends us stuff. The PO box is linked box. below. It's open. It's in the link. Where can you find any question on Earth? In the description below. Uh, but like, so if you want to know who's gonna be the president in 2038, in the description below. If you want to know what size shoe you and me wear, in the description below. If you want to know why wasabi and soybeans are grown in a certain region of the world. I think that's in the description below, too. Every single question you could possibly wonder or want to know the answer to is linked in the description below. We love all of you. P.O. Box is always open. Thank you so much. So, I want to talk about something that I've seen. That was a slight little boost. He said, so. I wanna, I'm so wet. I want to. No, you are. Just go ahead and show them. So, because if you if you acknowledge it, then there's no like, ooh, I found some. You just gotta acknowledge it. Do it you have like, a shirt on under there? I do, but what it's black. It? It's black. So Damn I'm it. lucky. You're not ready. On the count of three, we'll do. I'll do it with you though. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! Okay. Now it's over. It's out of the way. Don't feel self conscious. Let's get. I, I do the whole episode like this. What are we gonna? Ooh, you need to fix your chain. Somebody's thinking about you. My nipple showing? No. What? No. That's have, y'all ever, have you never heard of that? No. I gotta stop doing that. That's that old head stuff. Let's get to it. That's that old head stuff. If my, your chain is yes. the part that you clamp. The nipple. Oh, that's what you meant. The nipple I don't call it a nipple. Nipples, no. Anyway, the part that you clamp. You don't know what my nipples look like. If it falls down to the bottom, yeah. apparently somebody has been thinking about you. So then you reset I hope it's it. you. It wasn't me. Do you so. ever think about me? Mm, very, very <laughs> seldom. I mean, literally probably once a month. It's normally when I'm on the commode is when I think about you. Yeah, that's weird. But I think about you. Because it's shower. a time of relief. It's a time of relief, and you making me feel relieved often. Oh, thanks, bud. Okay, go back to what this you were saying. Very, it's this a weird, weird episode. Um, I want to talk about something because me and Cam, we disagree on a lot. If you watch the podcast, you know me and Cam disagree on a lot. Like I, I look like I haven't eaten in six weeks. Like I look bad. Right? No, you don't. Come on, buddy. Come on. Believe in yourself. I need it. You do need more calories, but it's all right. It's all right. Uh-huh. You're on like a 1,300 calorie diet. And it's all beef. Uh-huh. It's all beef. Oh, I can't wait till they get the fridge tour oh, on Patreon. It's beef and prime. Oh, my. Oh, the fr- dude, the fridge tour is going to be hilarious. We're going to start off at your house doing your fridge, and then we're going to go to my Oh, my God. I cannot wait. Just gray. Oh, oh, my God. It's going to be so sad. <laughs> just, just sad. We don't agree on a lot, but no, one thing we're probably gonna try to like send food like through the VO bars. Like, <laughs> Not perishable. Yeah, they're gonna send beans. like dog food and like in in beans and rice. Like it's. I mean, <laughs> y'all are gonna feel bad for him, but it's his choice, so don't feel too bad. Yeah. Um, we don't agree on a lot, but one thing yeah. we do agree on is we will not arm wrestle. Ever. Oh, oh, no. Ever. No. We've seen too many snapping arm Look videos. Oh, oh, like, no. oh, oh, that makes me real tight in every region, no. if you know what I mean. <sighs> one thing I won't, one thing I also won't do, there's like this viral thing going around. It's a new sport. It's like a slapping competition oh, oh. where that you literally sit there or stand oh. there and you yeah. just get, wow, no, <laughs> there's right no. across, you just got to eat it. And the first person to just lose consciousness loses. Yeah, like, what? But no, I've seen that all over my feed, yes. every social media platform. And it's like, I mean, props to them for growing, but I it's guess. like, are you nuts? Like, no, you you literally, you have to be touched in the head a little <laughs> bit to join that. I'm, so, I'm so serious. You have to be a little touched in the head to do that. You know what the winning prize is? Imagine standing across from another man and him saying, one. Two. In the ear, bro. bro. And have you like have you seen kind of like a full round where they have, yes. they do the rules? Yes. So like they can't step past something. They say when they're gonna hit. Yes. Them. Imagine knowing you're about to get struck and you can't defend yourself. And exactly. Just- and that goes against like every pro fighting thing because in every rule of pro fighting, like UFC boxing, the rule is to make it legal is you have to be able to defend yourself. Yeah. They're just the holding, rule is to not defend yourself in this. They're holding like a balloon behind their back, like a, a, oh. a grip bar. There's refs like waiting to catch their unconscious body. And they're just like this. And I'm going to go on three. All right, red corner begin. One, two. I saw one guy, I swear he might have got a red card or whatever it is in that sport. I swear on my life, he said, I'm, he said, I'm going to go on three. Because he technically didn't cheat, but he went, I'm going to go on three. Two. <laughs> and he skipped one. He that's went not, two to it's three. Not that's illegal. genius because he did go on three. Yeah, he still got some work enough there. Oh no, yeah, he. Someone's literally going. You know what makes it even sicker? What the grand prize? What is it? Guess. 
Like honestly, is it just like a guess. ton or? Yeah, just guess what you think. First, getting is slapped. It like a, okay, but is it a is it like a like you win and you get this or is it like the a, winner of the gauntlet? Okay, the gauntlet prize. I'm gonna go, hundred fifty thousand. Lower. Hundred k. Lower. No, bro. Lower. No. Lower. Bro. Keep going. Keep guessing. Fifty k. Lower. No way. I swear. Keep going. No. Keep going. No. 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 You don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm like no. Thirty thousand. Lower. Are you? Are I, I these, swear. Every single person from that's the doing source this, that I've gotten. From. Every single person that's doing this needs to stop right now. Like, just go to work. Keep going. Don't get beat. Keep for going. Twenty k lower. No, <laughs> no going. way. Keep going. Ten thousand dollars lower. I'm done. I don't care. Five grand. No. Five grand. I better get five grand off the first contact <laughs> my face. If another grown man named Slap Tyson is sitting there across me going, one, two. Wham! Like I need that's five thousand right there. Especially if I lose consciousness and my family's watching. You should get five grand every time your every face time gets your touched. face gets mangled by another man five grand. with a paw. Five grand. Five grand. Five k to win a gauntlet. Meet at the top. Beat the best of the best. And you get five thousand dollars. I mean, shout out to them. I guess. Like <laughs> literally, go go cuss out your boss and collect unemployment for five k. Exactly. What are you doing? I don't know, man. That's insane. But there's like a whole they thing have like now. Jersey shirts and everything. Like, <laughs> there's a whole thing now where they're. I think it's about to get cut because it needs to. I saw the video, so I thought it was so interesting. Like when, like a couple years ago, when I found this, I found it through Logan Paul actually, because he was going to go to Russia and do it. But oh, even more smart. Let's go slap <laughs> Russians. <laughs> and end up beating their best guy and be trapped in a- And the dude he was doing with literally got a watermelon. He was just like, nope. and just it, like this dude had iron hands. No. So, um, yeah, what, what was I was used to be interested in. So I would watch these on YouTube. Like, oh, you wanted to join? Oh, hell no. Are you nuts? And so I would just watch it and it would be like Uzbekistan and like they didn't speak English and like the titles at the bottom were like in symbols and stuff. And I was like, this is real interesting. And the crowd was so into it and symbols. I loved it. I would literally sit on my couch with a Diet Coke and just watch these people get slapped for 30 minutes. <laughs> it was so interesting. Payton's like, <laughs> you get him, Slaws and Vod. <laughs> so the next guy's up, wham! Payton's like, <laughs> Diet Coke. <laughs> He's like, I love this. It's like 3 a.m. So, but then it got to a point where I took a break and then it got viral again, right? So everybody's watching it. I saw a video on Twitter of this dude. He got slapped and his whole face got indented. Did you see that? Oh, where his whole no, shit. his whole it was like it sw it sw uh, swelled. I That's a word. Swole. That's a word. Swelled immediately. Yeah, bro. The guy and he his was whole like, face was chalked up and he literally was like. <sighs> Dude, so that had, to, that had to have been like the second slap of the fight because he had already got hit yeah. once. His face was all chalked up, but the second one, like on contact, it was like imagine how that it was feels, like bro. bam, and it was just like your whole skull is shifted. Oh, dude, I saw another one. This is UFC, but mm -hmm. like I saw a quick clip. A guy, it was like this is why you never blow your nose after you've been hit in the eye. This dude, no, Cam, 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 Cam. You got it. You no, got it. I don't, don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it. I can't. I, don't, I really. Well, can't. I don't want to hear. But I'm. <laughs> <laughs> he literally went like this. He got hit in the eye, bro. He goes to clear his nose on, of the Kim. blood. Come on, Kim. As he clears on, it, he, you have to watch. Just oh, yeah. Bear with me. You made me eat the hottest chip in the world, so you got to bear with me. He goes like snot rockets to clear all the blood out. His eye. I, I, I have to cut that out. Why? That's so vulgar. I have to cut that it's out. It's unreal, though. Like, oh, my God. But speaking of getting slapped, I got hit by an old man down here in the cafeteria yesterday. He might just right in the in the gut, like right here in the in, Why? the in the triangle region. Who who is, is this? It? Your windpipe? That little thing right there. It's uh right below your uh right below your esophagus. right below the uh, breast. What's the thing? Diaphragm, I think. Right where my Iron Man yeah, is. Yeah, right there, right where Tony Stark's. Yeah, is. right where Robert Robert Downey Jr. Right in your spot. It's, and for me, that's like the equivalent to the soft oh, spot yeah, on my no, head. Two reset buttons, right there I, and right there. I literally hate being poked right here. Everyone should, because you're immediately. Like, oh, oh, no, no, not even hard. Just like don't touch it, because oh. mine's just like a like a hard surface. It's super frail, yeah. Like your rib cage is very long, but that's your that's your uh, your weak point. Like it's that's so your Achi your Achilles heel is in the middle of your being. Like it's right there. You have an Achilles diaphragm. You don't have an Achilles heel. It's right there, and you have an Achilles skull. Those are your two resets. <laughs> and so I was I was I was at the cafeteria, right? And I was getting some food. They have fantastic food here at the Shout at, out to at the our building. Shout out to our building. building. Um, at our building. And they don't take our trash out. <laughs> But shout out to all the all the people here. So I was I ordered my food and I was standing there waiting and they cook it in front of you like mm -hmm. like hibachi style. Oh, that just made me think of something. Oh God, I'll talk about it later. But uh, 
they cook it in front of you and I was watching them I was like oh yeah you're doing your thing and then so this old and so we don't really blend in with everybody that works in this building everybody's in suits they're elders we're wearing this yeah and we're loud and we have mannequins in our office so don't touch Linda so uh no no that's Jerry Jerry and Linda, Linda and Jerry. It's all right. So I was sitting there waiting, standing there waiting for my food, and this old man who fits the demographic of this building was walking past me, and he had his food in his hand. He was walking, about to pay for it, and going back to his office. Shorter man, old guy. He literally he gets a couple steps past me, and he just stops. He look, turns around, and looks at me, like just makes dead eye con like eye contact with me backpedals towards me nope. you know i get uncomfortable when people backpedal yeah. towards me i what do not I do like it what did i do to you well, that you're a threat now you are certainly not our demographic you're not coming up to yeah. me about what we do yeah you're geriatric yeah. and you're back you're 83 up. years old don't like it don't at all and so then he proceeds to make physical contact when he grabs my elbow that's you have full control of my arm if you grab my elbow i am now a crane in the toy machine you can control what i'm grabbing you put your two credits in and you're playing my game no. So he's he grabs it and he goes ah. He's making like guttural noise. Was he undead? What is he a zombie? I would survive if he was. He was <laughs> he was like ah, 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 ah. and I was like okay. He's like you've lost it. You're out of there now. Your mental is not keeping up with you. And he goes it's like hey, you ordered a turkey sandwich, not a forearm. Give me it back. And he goes how's the weather up there? Boom, just hits me right in my my sweet spot. I literally, like, it brings me down to his level to where my mouth is close to his. So we're just making eye contact. And you You're know, saying, uh, 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 you know, old people, their eyes are real powerful. And they talk with their mouth, so they're like, He's sitting there wording out every noise. I you think make. everybody talks you're with their gasping. mouth. Oh, yeah, that was bad. But, like, word. They, they, you, they mouth things. You're like this. Oh, he's just sitting there. <laughs> he's, like, he's like this. He's hunting. And they have powerful eyes and they're bloodshot and blue, and he's like, Oh my god. And I go, oh, it's good. It's you good. said it's good? Yeah. I would have said, back up, Theodore. Get off of me. Don't you ever do that again, Winston. Yeah, back up, Melvin. Yeah, what do you do? Hey, Wayne, <laughs> take a step back. I don't know why you're touching me right now. Got a goddamn Charles back yeah, up. Yeah, get away. What do you do? Calvin, step back. Get off of me. What, why are you touching me? You didn't order a forearm like sandwich. Gertrude. Go get your stromboli. Get out of me. Don't ever touch get me again. Me. Get off of me. Yeah, that's crazy. Get off of me. Don't ever touch me again. We had two different experiences with old man. Oh I didn't say get out gosh. of me. Yeah, that's well, what I, I experience here. Why'd you answer him? I would have been he like, asked what me are a you question. doing? All right, if I walked up to you and went, how's your jaw feeling? You're going to go, oh, not the best. No, defend you. Get off of me. What am I supposed to get in the combat position with a guy that has about to go, four weeks left? Yeah, you're supposed to say, hey, your four will get pushed down to two if you don't get off me. He had weak knees. You know how old people he walk? He weak everything. You know how old he people had a weak brain. That's why he thought he thought you were an, an enemy or something. He did. I remember you from Nam. Like, yeah, I'm, you were from Nam. No, no. Like, you, you need to don't ever answer him. Defend yourself. It's, it might be sad, his reasoning behind it, but you don't know where his brain's at. Hell, he doesn't know where he his wasn't, brain's at. He wasn't aware of it. He has no clue he's at a lunchroom. He thinks he's in the, he's, he thinks he's in the war room. He's getting notes. He thought he was at the bingo room with his pals. He said, you're the op. You're tango. Get him down. I need India Golf 9 or 9 on my position. And you know how old people walk with their knees backwards? You know how like their knees are like almost like you know our kneecaps are in the front and theirs are in the back. It's just a whole, whole bunch of instability, instability. What does that mean? Their knees are in the back. Imagine a leg <laughs> folding like this, but the opposite way. You'd be a hell of a jumper. Even if and you know, there's a lot of foot action when they walk. It's like this. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of shake. There's a whole, I mean, borderline. But there's, it's a lot of shake. Yeah, I know. We'll take that up. But borderline, you know what? There's a lot of shake. Oh, my God. How a knee on the back of the leg is outrageous. That's insane. He's bending the opposite way. When he goes to go to bed, he just goes... <laughs> just like, just, he just goes like this. He just repels down to himself. Oh my, God. oh my God. He might have been a lizard. He might be a lizard person. If he has a knee on the back of his leg and he can just collapse like a, like a foldable chair, like a lawn chair. If he can lawn chair, 
<sighs> if he can strike you, get away with nothing, and then go to his house in lawn chair, yeah, we need to we need to. But set the way up. he exited was pretty cool. He goes, "All right, bud," and walks up. And like, <laughs> so much movement. Oh my lord! Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I don't Please have enough don't. sustenance. Ple- you don't have enough what? <laughs> sustenance. Sustenance. <laughs> What's the word? Is that wrong? I don't know. Your, your delusion has now traveled into my pathways, and I just I can't think. Sus, there's so many S's and CH's when you said it. You said I don't have enough sustenance. You said I'm, I'm gonna throw up. I don't have enough sustenance. I don't know what you're trying to say. And the worst part is when you said it again slower. I still didn't know. I couldn't tell if you were right or wrong. Oh my god, I didn't know if you were right or wrong. I was just, I was thrown for a loop. <laughs> okay, bro. All right, bro. All right, you're about to get struck. You're about to get, and the worst part is you just swallowed that loogie. Oh my god, you just swallowed the loogie. You didn't leave the set to spit it out. You swallowed the loogie. Oh my god, you have mucus breath. Oh my god, you have mucus breath. You, you, you have flu breath. Oh my lord. Oh my god. You have flu breath. You need to go brush your teeth. No, you need to brush your teeth. You need Listerine. We need to reach out to Listerine so we can just have a sponsored bottle right behind the couch for you. You swallowed a loogie. I'm getting the chills. You're sick. You're sick. Oh, oh, the slow movement. You're frail. Oh my God, you're sick. You're ill. You're dri- I don't know if that's sweat or tears. There's a whole drip on your nose. You need to go to the camera. There's a drip on your nose. Oh, you need to, you need to calm down. It's on your hand. It dripped on your hand. Oh my God, you're going to spread a virus. You are going to spread something. Your bodily fluids are no longer bodily. They are public fluids at this point. You, you're sick. You're sick. You need to gather yourself. Are you, what are you taking a nap? What are we done? Get up. I really need to time out. We're not. I can't breathe, bro. You look ill. What are you doing? I'm, hold, we'll be right back. I'm getting him a bottle of water. Hold on. I don't feel good. Wait, give me, here, give me, a, give me one of those Cheetos in, in a water. Uh, oh, our next partner is Athletic Greens. Hey, 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 I take AG1 by Athletic Greens literally every day. Y'all know I am not conventionally the most healthy person we know that about me i have tried in the past to do the whole supplement thing and you put it in the monday wednesday tuesday thursday friday thing and i'm forgetting stuff and i'm like this is a lot to take and i don't like swallowing pills it doesn't make me feel good with athletic greens all the nutrients and all the vitamins and everything you need is in one single scoop. You literally put the scoop in the water, you shake it up, and you got everything you need for the day. It helps my immune system. <laughs> it helps my immune system. It helps me feel more energized in the morning. And I just feel better. I feel like I'm glowing now after I started doing this AG1 thing. 100%. My AG1 is delivered to me every single month. So it's been super easy to make it a daily habit. Literally, I'm like, I'm taking these scoops. I'm taking these scoops. I don't have to even worry about anything. I just get a knock at the door. My delivery man's like, here's your AG1. And I'm like, thank God I get to be healthy for another month. No, for real. AG1 is fantastic. The best part about it, best part about AG1, outside of having all of your daily nutrients, vitamins, everything you need, minerals. It's just, it's simplicity. Like Peyton said, you literally throw it in your water, shake it up, and you're good to go. So if you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. That's a lot of free stuff to be healthy. Go to athleticgreens.com backslash PSH. That's athleticgreens.com backslash PSH. Let's all get healthier together. Let's do something great for each other. Go check it out. <laughs> All right, guys. As he's clearly recovering, I'm just going to segue into the next thing. I know. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to segue into the next thing. He's going to recover. Just bear with him. He needs sustenance. He needs... He needs... He truly just went through it. But I'm going to tell you all about a crazy show that we vowed that we're going to watch this upcoming weekend. I got to say the next part first, but we're going to do it in a different way. If you have not heard, on Netflix, there's a new show. It came out about, I want to say, two months ago, somewhere around there. It's called Kaleidoscope, okay? The whole show, the whole premise of the show, it's a, like a, a bank, like a heist. So they're going on a big mission to steal, you know, millions, whatever, how, much, how many dollars, doing a big mission. But this is the first show 
of its category of a kind, which I think it's going to be like revolutionary. It's going to be sick. Hopefully. What is it? So this show, right? I believe there's nine episodes. Every episode is named a different color. Blue, yellow, orange, red, violet, whatever. And there's a uh, black, gray, white, whatever it is. Okay. The show, apparently you can watch it in any order and every viewer will get a different experience. But the one rule is you have to end with the episode white. So the white is the ending. Okay. <laughs> of course it is. You're like, oh, how could I see that coming? <laughs> so white is the ending. But you could start with red, then go to blue and go to orange. And apparently there's like 44,000 different methods. Because, you know, you could go red, orange, um, blue, green. Probability. Red, blue, green. PEMDAS. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not PEMDAS, but probability. So apparently you can watch these episodes any way, shape, or form. It'll make you think... Like a certain person is the culprit or a certain person is the mastermind behind it. Who's the snitch, whatever. But as long as you end with white, you'll get the, the true ending. But you get every single person. He's going to watch it a different way. I'm going to watch it a different way. Me and Liv are going to watch it together. So we'll get the same. But everyone else. Payton's got to watch it alone. Ooh, love and happiness. Ooh. I, Couldn't I, I, relate. I've never experienced that. <laughs> so it's going to be sick because like just... Whoever thought that, like, is a genius. Like, they're going to put out a show where you can watch in different episodes, different formats, but every viewer is going to get a different experience. That sounds dope. So, it's called Kaleidoscope. It's on Netflix. Non-sponsored. This is not, I was just about to say, it's not sponsored. It's anything. We're really looking forward to it. Uh, we'll give a, like, a little review. I like this segment. This little, what we're watching, because so people can a little, share an a experience pop with pop culture me. segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about some music or, or something in the... We talk about sports often, but that's still, it could, yeah, it's not yeah. really pop culture, but yeah. just one recency. Thing, one thing I, uh, <sighs> still recovering. Oh, bad, bro. I feel like empty. One thing I was, I've been watching is Ginny and Georgia. Oh, F fantastic television. Great show. Great footage. So I, um, when it first came out, like 2017 or whenever the first season came out, I didn't watch it. Because I saw a clip go viral, and it was so cringy. It was Jenny and her, her boyfriend Hunter. Jenny's a a, a, a a biracial woman. She is she's African American and Caucasian, and her boyfriend, I believe, uh, was of the Asian descent. Yes. And they were having this cringy argument. It's like the oppression Olympics. It was yeah. so bad to watch, and I was like, "What is this?" And so I saw that. <laughs> I saw that, and I was like, "I'm not watching this show." And then I got real lonely one day. <laughs> And uh, oh, one day, just one day, <laughs> and I saw uh, Tony on the uh, that's uh, Jenny. Oh, okay. Yeah, I Her saw brother, yeah. I saw Tony on the uh, on the front page of my Netflix, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever, whatever. I'll watch it. She's a lovely, lovely person. Shout out to Tony. I started watching, and I was like, this show is good. You know I'm in for quirky, weird, like... Yeah. You you love your little rom-coms. Love it, yeah. yeah. And so I started watching, and I was like, oh, this is good. And then I got a massive crush on the mom in the show, Georgia. She is... She's got that southern twang now. She's amazing. <laughs> okay, amazing. not the eye roll. Jeez. <laughs> she's great. Um, which is typically not my type, but she's, 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 she's grand. Shout, she's happily married with kids. Shout out to you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and I watched season two. Yo, shout out to you. Uh, my name is Peyton Harden. <laughs> I watched season two three times. Wow. Yeah, it's great. Okay, me and Liv liked it, but we watched it once, and now we're waiting for season It's going to be a couple of years, though. Yeah, but we didn't But it, it got so bad to the point where I started watching. I found this new, like, little crevice of YouTube where people, like, watch, like, the Netflix shows, and they react to them live. And, like, obviously for copyright reasons, they cut a bunch, most of the episode out, but it's like they're giving their... Um, uh, they're like a pains while the show goes on and I've watched like so I've basically watched season 10 times because I watched like 10 different creators react to the whole season <laughs> shout out to Tony love you good lord <laughs> no it's it's great so I, ba I basically know every second of the show and I can do a play by play but that's how I am with High School Musical it is no that is how he is with High School Musical like One, literally two three behind the scenes b-rolls every like the dance along dance along he knows it all I'm not gonna lie rewatched Harry Potter not recently. This is about two years ago. Rewatched it, all of it. Expecto Patronum. Watched all of it, and then I went down that same rabbit hole. I'm okay. talking about like followed the Harry Potter Twitter page, oh. went down interviews. It, it was a sick rabbit hole. And then one day I was just over it, like the itch had been scratched, mm -hmm. and I saw like it was like, "What wizard are you today?" And I was like, "Okay, I'm done with this." No, you like, took the quiz. I was like, "No, I didn't. I did take the quiz." But <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I did. I was. Slipping. I wanted to be Dumbledore. No, I did I not take know. the quiz. Unfollowed the page. But shout out to Harry Potter. That, yeah, Harry Potter. I wish I could get into that. 
It's fantastic. Oh my gosh, this man said he has never seen Lord of the Rings. No, no, I have no so interest. So we're going to do, that might be a little Patreon thing. Obviously not the movie, that'd be three and a half hours <laughs> that'd be a little, times three. Like that would be like, three months of Patreon. Like a, a quick, a quick, uh, like pre-watching, pre-conference, we're going to watch it and then a post-conference and I guarantee you, because that's not up this man's alley, no. but the cinema of Lord of the Rings is just fantastic. You know, Lord of the Rings 3, Return of the King, still to this date, is like, holds a record for the amount of, is it Oscar for movies? Oscars? Sure. Oscars, Emmys, I know it's not Grammys. Os what? Yeah, what I, think it's I think it's Oscars. They got like 11 Oscars from the one film. It's like tied for every movie in existence. It's like number one. Oh, that's or super dope. That it's, means it's a good show. It's fantastic. Fantastic. I have a hot take that might upset you oh, about TV. I think we both agree that The Office is one of the, if not the best show ever created. 100%, the funniest. 100%. I, just don't, I, don't, I don't understand how people don't like it. People don't have good sense of humor. People yeah. are shit. I don't. Wow. I don't. I don't. Everybody that does like The Office is like, they're like ooh, ooh, that, that hurt. Um, no. At, at least I can eat food. <laughs> Um, I, I, when this show was on Netflix, it was called Shits Creek. They took it off. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to like you. You were a big advocate. Shits Creek is up there and dare I say better overall television than The Office. Olivia's mom would probably agree with you. Liv watched it for a little bit. I never seen a, I've never seen a single episode. That show is so, it's not only funny as like literally I'm doing that my dry heave laugh alone in my apartment. And you know how funny That's something's impressive. gotta be to laugh out loud alone? Yeah. So I, and it's like smart. Like the show is so smart. Like just the storytelling, it, it's a fantastic show. And they won, I think that for a TV show, they're holding the record for amount of uh, whatever. Oscars, Emmy, Grammys, whatever it is. Whatever, I think Emmys might be television. But Ooh. yeah, it's a fantastic show. So there's our Netflix suggestions. Well, it's off of Netflix now, but. A little pop culture segment for you. There you go, take that. Uh, Shit's Creek, Office. Ginny and Georgia, Kaleidoscope. Watch it, comment, tell us if we have no taste or if we have the best taste. And Lord of the Rings. What happened to your hand? <sighs> Are we not going to acknowledge that? Because you look like an old man. Someone said I had ringworm. And I was like, okay, oh. no. I said, all right. Taking Max out. Your go dog? potty. One more time. It's like 10 o'clock. Got coats on, everything. I'm wearing Nike slides, no socks. Mm. Bad decision. With your time. toe? And it's like, with my toe. And it's like 30 degrees. That's, that's Thank a, God that's, it was dark outside. That's a though. war of crime. A that crime is, of war. Oh, okay. A war crime. <laughs> so I'm taking him out. He goes potty, does his business. We're like 100 yards away. He's a breeding dog. So I'm like, let me get him one more little run in. I go, come on, bud. Start jogging with mm -hmm. him. Can't jog too fast. I'm in slides with no socks. My feet are having to grip down to even hold the slides in place. Ooh, and you got a bad toe. <sighs> bad toe gripping. That's, and that's your hip sick. was hurting. And my hip it was, was cold hurting. outside. Very cold. There was no lubricant. There's no warmth. <laughs> so we start jogging. He has this horrible habit. If he's so excited that he just wants to jump up on me as we're running and get like right in between my legs. Yeah. This man gets right in between my legs, jumps up. I have to hit the brakes. My feet crossed, full blown uh, Auntie Anne's pretzel, mm. get tra tripped and trapped up. Auntie Anne's. Fall, skip. Sorry, continue your story, but you. Auntie Anne's. <laughs> Auntie Anne's. You disgust me. Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's pretzels. Even if you say Auntie, that's acceptable. Her name is Anne. Auntie Anne's? That, that doesn't, doesn't sound, sound right, good. so you should say Auntie, Auntie Anne's. Her name is Anne. Anne's. Her name is not Anne's. <laughs> A-N-N-E. She might be German. Anne. Oh, Anne Frank? <laughs> anyway, he trips me up. I literally fall. Large humans of our stature. It's a very long fall. To <laughs> Oh! <laughs> scrape my hand. Scrape my foot. Scraped my knee through my pants. It was an awful experience. I could do nothing but just look at the dog. And he's just like. <laughs> and I was just like. I, I love you. I love him still. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's not a I'm not him. I love him. Uh, no, yeah. we need to, you need to put that dog in some kind of training. Uh, we train him. We try to. Really? A little bit, yeah. You want to talk about what happened when I was dog sitting the other day? I went over to Cam's house. What, what, why was I at your house? I don't know. Why was I at your house? Oh, couldn't tell you. You were there though. I was there. I woke up there. <laughs> oh yeah, because you stayed from the night before. Oh oh yeah yeah yeah. We had a little we had a little game night at your house, and I stayed the night because I'm a responsible Slumber. human. Yep. And we were snuggling. And so Cam woke up. His wife woke up. They went to work. Fun times. Um, we were fun. And now I ha now I'm in control of my niece and my nephew. Right. They were in their cages and whatever. And I woke up. I started my day, and I was like, oh, I can't just keep them in there. So I took the dogs out. Now, Cam's dog's fresh out the womb. 
fresh out the womb. His brain's not all the way developed. He just throws his just body mush, everywhere. He hits his body on walls. He's not really sure how the earth works. He'll go head first into something like, Rrr, and then just keep going again. <laughs> and so, I am not responsible enough, and I don't trust myself enough to take them both at the same time because Ruby's overweight and has bad legs, and Max just doesn't have a fully developed brain. So that's just a headache Poor and a baby. half. I love that dog, but she. Um, like, so I waited till Cam to get back when he had a break from work <laughs> to come back uh, to help me take the dogs out. So Cam came back to work uh, from work, and he's like, "All right, Peyton, let's go downstairs. Let's get the, their leashes on and let's take them outside." I was like, "I can take control of Ruby because she's just fat and stays there, <laughs> and so she won't move too much." Max is a little wiry hell wait, rat, little, little wiggle worm, a hell rat, <laughs> hilarious, a hell rat. <laughs> and so I was like, you got Max. So we're putting on their their vests. What's it called? <laughs> Harness? A vest? What, are they going to a ball? <laughs> Maybe. So we're putting on their vest harness, and I'm doing Ruby, and Ruby's all fat, and I've got to, <laughs> I got to extend the thing to make it wrap around. No, you do not. No, you do not. It clips right around her. It's perfect for her body. She's I love adorable. that dog. You know yes, I love that dog. Love but she... Um, <laughs> I'm going to see him today. And so Cam was putting on Max's stuff, and we thought all was fine. Let's go outside to go potty. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. So we went out to go potty. They did their thing. We walk back inside. It just smells like decay and regret and death. All I hear is, and Cam goes, oh, no. Literally, this man, Max, we were just outside. He decides to come back in. Poop. So discreet, like I'm. I'm setting his. She's a sniper uh, with the shit. I'm setting his uh, leash up at the top to take off of my look down. There's a poop, a whole poo, mm -hmm. on the ground. My foot, my work shoe, right into it, and I was just like, "There's no way this just happened." Speaking of poo, you said you had a, a would you rather for us. We better, we better connect on this. Okay, one. if you, oh my god, okay, let's do it quick. Okay, would you rather? Yes. <laughs> Would you rather poo in the only toilet at a party, knowing you're gonna clog it, oh God. or be forced to poo outside in the back in the bushes during a party? During a party, Cam, I have anxiety even walking in a party. If you think I'm going to a toilet, a commode, and knowingly you're clog pooping it up outside, I'm, I'm hitting the shrub route. <laughs> Are you're kidding me? Oh no 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 no! I'm 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 hitting I'm hitting the bushes. You're pooping in shrubbery. You're gonna be known as Poo Man across the party. You're gonna have poison ivy in your crack. Oh, I'm going to the for forbidden shrubs. Yeah, and you're gonna have forbidden berries back there too. <laughs> I'll be Mr. Stink. You're gonna need antiseptic cream for a week and a half on your rear end. <laughs> you're gonna need patches and, and bandages. Do you know what you're comes with that? What are you gonna wipe with? Are you what? What are you gonna wipe with? Huh? My, un my underwear. You wrap it up, you throw it to the dog. Oh, you grew up great, didn't you? You never had to use it. Oh, sorry, I pooped in toilets. You never had to growing up great. You never had to use Charmin Hanes and use, and use Fruit of the Loom. Sh you never had to wad up a Fruit of the Loom and then make it with the rest of your day with that regret. I will be Mr. Stink at this party. You're going to be itching. You're going to wake up the next day in pain. You act like I can't go to the sink. The sink? <laughs> the party doesn't have showers? They do have humans, and they're going to see you. They're going to see you clogging it up. You caused a river of poo in the party. Oh, okay, I could say, hey, your toilet was faulty. That guy just took a deuce in your bush. In your bush. That's helping the environment. Hey, what's this poop? I don't have a dog. Oh, it's from Peyton's ass. See, that's how I know you didn't grow up with Disney growing green, because I'm here to, I'm here to ferment the, the sediment. I'm trying to help the environment. Global. Help the environment. You're gonna scar four people. They're gonna see a six, seven man squatting over like a pup to take a deuce in a shrub. That's better than whenever Shelly has to go pee pee because she had too much to drink and she's trying to relieve her system to calm down. But oh no, there's Cam's excrement all over the bathroom. Dude, you're going to have scratch marks and elderberries in your taint. What are we talking about? You just pick, the fact you picked the wrong answer just it it confirms all of my theories with you. Cam, you would poop in a shrub because I care about people. You don't care about yourself, and that's the most important person.
Health, health is wealth, my friend. Yeah, and you know what? It is healthy. You know what? No, no, I'm no, gonna, no, no, I'm no, no, gonna no, no, wake no. up the next it day. It is healthy. I'm gonna it wake is, up it the is next healthy. day and it go is. about my life. You're gonna wake up and have to book a doctor's appointment. <laughs> You're gonna have to go see a It specialist. is healthy. You wanna know how it is healthy? How? You can grow fruit and people can eat it. If I ever went to a party and they served me anything that had some shit fruit in it, I would, oh my God. You know, what is mulch? The entire house is getting burnt to a crisp. What is mulch? What is mulch? It's not human feces. Yeah, That's it's the same. It's close, though. You're about to get struck. This hand, this scabbed hand, this ringworm hand is about to go crush face. So, Cam, what are you doing? Once you leave that bathroom knowing it's clogged, say no one caught you, right? Yeah. You're, you're staying in that party? Yeah. Psychopath! You're a psychopath! You just said you would rip your underwear off of your body to wipe your ass in a backyard, then come back and uh, bidet yourself in the kitchen sink. No, I didn't say which room it was in. So they, Okay, so if you go to the bathroom, would, they'd walk in. You're what? You're cleaning your ass in a sink. I would go to a, a room with a door that has a lock. Locks are existing for a reason. You know why? Because you tell you gotta take a shrub dump. You can you can wipe it off. A hot and cold temperature shower. Oh, you're gonna get behind the door out there in the wilderness? There's doors out there in those shrubs? No, but you hide no, behind you're, the you're shrub. Wide open. Hide behind the shrub. What are you, Homer Simpson? You're just gonna shrink away and disappear into the shrub, take your deuce and come out unscathed. And hopefully it's a nice house and they got one of those shower heads that you can do the different settings on and it has the shoot super soaker so it really cleans it. <gasps> Okay. First off, that's a shower. You said a sink. Second off, I'm gonna be Mr. Stink. You're gonna have wounds. There's nothing else to be said. You're gonna f you're gonna come out with scathed wounds. You're gonna go into s in, into like s septic shock. You're gonna be oozing elderberry. Why wounds. do you act like this is a, like people? This is a show I'm putting on. I'm doing this discreetly. I'm doing this to hide. I'm gonna be hiding, and I'm. Gonna you are not a cartoon character. You I'm are gonna a be large, hiding. Look, I'm you are a large sentient human being. I'm gonna be They're going to see you duck and poop in a backyard. They're not going to see me. I can come out and say, hey, that was clogged before I went in there. I simply peed. I can push the blame to someone see, else. See, you're a bad person for it's, that. You're taking up crap in someone's lawn. Okay, but I'm hiding and I'm checking my surroundings I like this, like this. I'm like this the whole time. You. I'm checking, I'm checking my east, my west, my north, and my south. I'm looking all what are you, over. you, a soldier? What are you, what are you checking your surroundings Yeah, I'm for? in a three-point stance like I'm a defensive lineman. Set! <laughs> Okay, okay. That Pain. just shows Yeah. Or if I have a tank top on under my under my shirt, that's another area. You just said you would use your beater to, <laughs> to clean your butt. Or you know you can go the dog route and just scrape on the grass. I'm a man of environment. You're a man of rash. Antibiotics. That's you're a man of antibiotics. You that's the natural form. That's how we came here. That's how we came here. You know what's a little more natural? Pooping in a toilet. You know, it's a bit, be able to you're going to mess around and have a wood chip lodged in your <laughs> rear end. And I'm simply going to go. Yeah, I clogged your toilet. Best part is not my house. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Thanks for the party. Have fun cleaning it, Connor. So you're a bad person. You're going to be you're going to have to walk out like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference between me and you. Good person, bad person. Don't Ow! I heard that too. That was a lot of solid contact. That's what you get. Whatever. That is exactly what you get. I feel like I'm right. Your belly button's wet again. <laughs> so is my hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's wet from that sink, huh? I'll punch you. Huh? I'll punch you. For what? No, <laughs> The eyes. <laughs> You're a sick man. Oh, you's a sick man. <laughs> oh, I knew I You's a lucky man. You's a lucky man. Oh. Um, that's my whole, my, my wife you're talking. <laughs> Yeah, we're not feeling the 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 health is not the highest right now. Halfway through doing that, my ears started ringing. That's why I was looking around. My nose is getting quite clogged. <laughs> Me too. Whew. I have real I have a real hard time asking women out on dates. But the first time I ever asked a girl on the date, she stood me up, and I was at hibachi alone. <laughs> hey, at least you had good cuisine. You didn't have good cuisine. It was a rough experience at the hibachi. Why? Let me tell you this story. All right. So I was 16, I just got a car, and I had a little side job. I had a, a side job. <laughs> I was side job. <laughs> that sounds like I was doing some funny business. Yeah. So I was 16. Putting working in the after hours. I was trapping. After hours. My dog style. Girl, I feel so alone inside of this crowded room in Dallas. 
in the Bay Area, in DC, and MedLife. All right, go. Sorry. In Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, shout out to the weekend. Able. So I was 16 and I just got my first part-time job. I was working as a pool monitor. I don't know how to swim, but that's a story for a different time. And I had a car, right? So I was like, oh, I can finally start asking girls out on dates. I had a big crush on this girl. She was giving me the time of day. We were really hitting it off. I thought we weren't though. She said, eh. no. So I saved Substitute. up. I saved up a lot of money for my part-time job because I wanted to take her to a nice restaurant. A nice restaurant at the time, Hibachi. Hibachi. We get dinner and a show. And a show. You get the little choo-choo train. Ooh, ooh, little onion on fire. Oh my god! I've only seen it in movies. I've never really been. Ooh, so I was like, I get to share this experience with the love of my life on our first date. I got a lot of money and a car from 1984. It's a great time. So. She was doing something, right? She was busy doing something. She said, you know what, Peyton? I'll meet you at the hibachi place for our date. And I was like, that's fine. We can do that. I'm going to get there early, be a gentleman, greet her at the door, walk her under my arm <clears throat> to the hibachi table. Now, hibachi tables, there's like 15 seats. There is. It's they, quite large. They normally wait for other parties. It's in a big U. Yeah, they normally wait for other parties to fill up the seats for the show and the cook to start. Mm -hmm. It was a quiet night there. There was only one bus parked outside the hibachi place. One bus. A bus. A bus. A school bus. Yellow. Who's traveling? Yeah. Who's taking field trips to hibachi? So it was a bus in my car from 1984 outside the hibachi place. I was like, oh my God, she's going to think I rented this restaurant out. She's going to know this this she pool job. Me. This pool job is really paying Peyton well. Oh, it was a pool job. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I was a pool monitor and I don't know how to swim. I was in charge of people's lives. Who hired you? He liked he liked how I played basketball. Uh, it's a story for a different time. So under investigation. So 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 so, I'm sitting down at the hibachi place, right? Five minutes passes, and I'm like, rush hour traffic. Yeah, it's got seven thirty. Ten minutes goes by. Traffic's already gone. Ten minutes goes by. I'm like, I should probably text or be like, hey, you I all. Sent the wrong address. Yeah, I said, hey, you are. are you <laughs> I said, hey, y'all good? You need, you need me to send the address? So I, I dropped the pin. Three dots pop up as she's going to respond. Three dots go away. She never responds to the text. I'm like, oh, that means she's probably pulling up around the corner. She's, she's like, I'll greet you with my face and words instead of these texts, baby boy. So I said, oh, can't wait to see you. 30 minutes passes. I'm at this hibachi table alone. The chef comes out. The chef comes oh out God. in his hat with his little, his little, his little cart, his little, his little cart, his, his little caboose. Yeah, he's pushing it towards me, and as he's making his way towards me, you could tell he's looking at me like, "It's like, is your date in the bathroom?" And so he goes, "Uh, how many?" And I said, "Well, well, I thought there was two, but uh, she's on her way." He's like, "Okay, I'll just wait." We start to conversate a little bit. Five minutes pass. He's like, "Look, guy, I just got, I got to do this. If you yeah, want to eat, I'm on, I'm on the clock." <laughs> yeah, he's like, "I, I got to cook this now, or what do you want me to do?" And I was like, "You know what? Go ahead and start, and she'll get here in the middle of it. She'll get to join the experience a little late. It will ruin the experience for her, but at least she'll be able to enjoy some of the show." She never shows up. I'm enjoying this hibachi guy alone. I, you were at the entire station by yourself. Uh, entire station by myself. Imagine a U-shaped table for 15 people. I'm dead in the center just making eye contact with this guy flipping onions and chefing around some rice. And he's saying, Hoppa! looking right at me, giving me the show. The first thing I thought of is he's like, you ready for the train? You're like a 16-year-old guy. You're not that happy. You just got uh, bailed on. You're just like... He's like, choo-choo, choo-choo, spraying it with the oil. But this chef was oh a... Oh, my God. I started off in a bad mood, but this... Bad mood. I started off in a bad mood, but this chef was really a good people's person, so he's probably were like this. <laughs> I, I at a point. Like, Ooh, make it beep again. Make the train beep. At a point, I started feeling better about this situation. I was like, her loss. I'm enjoying the chef, man. He made a volcano out of onions. Oh, I'm really God. enjoying this. It didn't start to get weird until he said, "Open your mouth." <laughs> now, how about not? I was like, I'm gonna go out on my shield here. I've already been so disrespected this night. I'm opening my mouth. There's no one here to witness it. There's no one here to witness it. This whole restaurant's alone. 
I was about to say something. And so he says, open your mouth. And I, you go, I go, you know what? Might as well, right? <laughs> this man, <laughs> this man is just, just flinging fried shrimp into my mouth. He's just, <laughs> and the worst part is, and the worst part is, I was actively trying to get them. I was, again, again. Now, I was like, this is fun. I'm having a good time. Screw her. That's her fault for missing out on this. I caught you all of these. You want to be my date? <laughs> I was like, I caught all of these. She didn't get to see me catch all this. He goes a little more through the show. Then he pulls out this, like, clear ketchup bottle. Oh, no. And he starts shaking it right at his ear. And he's making eye contact with me, just shaking this bottle. And then he goes one more time. Open your mouth. <laughs> Now I go, I go, I go, we're already in too deep at this point. I got to say yes. I'm obligated to say yes so you can finish your show. I'm a man of performing arts. You do your job well. I will finish this job. I open my mouth and he's just, I look like a goddamn dolphin. Straight up, just Kyle Corver from deep, and you're just. <laughs> and I thought, hey, oh my god, I'm like, okay, my date left me. I'm, I was like, okay, I would be embarrassed if my date was here if this happened. I was like, at least I experienced this alone. No one saw me. But as I'm, I'm trying to calm myself down, and be like, that wasn't too bad for my pride. I just see a flashlight popping from the right side of the restaurant. No, she did not. And I'm looking. That school bus. And there's a cheerleading competition. And like at the very end of the restaurant, there were some cheerleaders filming me. Catch shrimp in my mouth. You're probably sitting there, your hands are like this. You're all happy. Your feet, you're like, you're sitting there. And all I see is this. Looking like damn Shamu out there just. And so they're, they're like this, they're like that. I kid you not. I dined and dashed. I got right up oh. and I left. There's that that wasn't meant for me. Like that day was not meant for me. Oh. I didn't deserve to pay. Sitting in the whole 15 seater U section behind the grill and everything by yourself is already insane enough to then be recorded having the time of your life. Straight up adolescent at a show by yourself, you and the chef. And then he's sitting there. You're catching liquids in your mouth, pieces of, of sea creatures. I'm, I'm wiping off my chin. He probably misses a little. There's some drippage down your shirt. Oh, and it's all on video. Oh my God. I would pay I would pay a thousand dollars to find that film. I would pay a thousand if you're the cheerleader that was recording him, please comment. Oh my god. The odds you still having it very slim, but if you could find it, oh dear lord. I was the, I was having the time of out I, I was having the time of my life to the point whenever he was making the big fire, I said again, again. I can just see you going. <laughs> so happy. Oh yeah. Oh that was a God, very uh, that was a, uh, yeah. I've never been to Hibachi since then. And oh, I will we gotta go. go. We gotta go. I'll be damned if I if, if somebody's throwing go. some shrimp and liquid. In if my he mouth. says you open your mouth, I go. No, no, he can't. No, no, no. that's PTSD. Just I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on. I'll be the happy guy. The fact that you half opened your mouth at first, you said you went. Oh uh, my god Great episode, huh? That is hilarious Fantastic episode uh, Guys, thank you so much for coming back to this episode of the You Should Know Podcast At the end of the episode, uh, we will leave a sneak peek to the Patreon episode that is live right now It's the bonus uh, episode of Extended episode and a separate vlog uh, no, separate Fletcher's vlog. Revenge We'll and leave Extended episode quizzing on feminine products from our dear, dearly beloved Ashlyn uh, it's going to be unbelievably hilarious. Yeah, so you'll get a little sneak peek of that. If you want the full thing, go over to the Patreon. You get two things. It's like about 20 minutes of content. It'll be more than that. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh we, we just recorded. Um, Dude, that got me. That hibachi got me. <laughs> like, I'm, my stomach's kind of hurting from my laugh. <laughs> That's just, it was embarrassing. Oh, my God, that got me. Um, so we... Uh, What's coming to Patreon? Basketball highlight reaction video. We're finally revealing my basketball highlights. Finally doing that. We got another vlog outside of the Fletcher's one. We won't tell you what that is. We got um, we got the quiz, and then we got a couple more things cooking up that we will throw another poll uh, up this next week. Let y'all choose. Be the deciding factor of which one you want to see first. Studio uh, tour. Just cooking. Studio tour. I mean, there's going to be a lot of stuff for y'all, so... 
It's uh, fantastic. I, I think tonight I might film a a, a, a little drunk Q and A. Ooh, dun 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 dun. We'll see, dun, dun, and dun, all the pa- dun, pa- dun, Patreon dun, people dun, can ask dun, the questions. Dun, 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 we'll give we'll give that time so you can join the Patreon and ask questions. Send your questions. Uh, uh, but guys, get a little inebriated, and then we'll uh, have a good old Q and A. Responsibly, of course. I'll be the I'll be the, the question asker. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, code for this week to confuse the casuals, to get your good karma. Code for this week: N N E H A N E H A. Take a guess. Never eat hibachi alone. God, you got it right on the dot. <laughs> Never eat hibachi alone. It's a recipe for disaster. You're going to get filmed catching liquids from 13 meters out. Oh, my gosh. That guy is Carson Palmer. I mean, he's straight up just putting it on the dot, just painting corners with his pitches. Unbelievable. Never eat hibachi alone. N-E-H-A is going to be the code for this week. Confuse the casuals. We love you so much. Again, Patreon, Instagrams, YouTube, Discord, everything you could ever want or need is in the description below us right here, right now. Patreon, the new about 30 minutes of content for this week is live right now as well. Join the Koala Club if you have Join the Koala Club. If you have any questions, you have any concerns, uh, message us on any platform. We will try to get to those as soon as we can. But we, of course, love you all so much. And one out of ten Koala Bears. Don't make it home to Christmas, and I'll see you oh. next week. I'll see you over at the Koala Club. Do you think women shower with tampons in? Yes. That's why they keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? He's jogging in a leather jean, or not leather, a fur jean jacket. Wait a minute. Everybody's looking at me like, look at this freak. Looks like he's in the mall. <laughs>